Hello there everyone, welcome back to the Age of a New Beginning mod. I'm, you probably know me by now, Mr. Mocha Lover. But right now, as you can see, we've invaded, or we've done sea line for the Germans, as the Italians, and we're kicking some serious British booty. They're about halfway to capitulation, we've killed off 1.3 million of them, we've lost about a million guys so far in this war. Um, the allies aren't looking super good, um, really to invade, also I went to war with a lot of people, like as you see, <laughs> Angola, Afghanistan, Iraq, Nepal, uh, I've gone to war with a lot of people. But, um, yeah, it was actually pretty costly trying to cross English Channel. I've lost quite a few ships, actually. If you look at this, I lost two carriers and 61 destroyers, which were, you know, not very good destroyers, but... And three cruisers, so I've lost a lot of things. We've lost, actually, 66 ships in the last month to do Sea Lion, but... Um, this current month, we lost seven while we killed off 1,400, so... Mostly convoys, of course, but, hey, you know, it's still okay. We still sunk um, some British carriers, so... Or cruisers. It is what it is, so... Yeah, it, it was very costly. Let's take a look at the Navy. It's not great right now. Um, yeah. It's really not great. We still have... Wait, why are you guys on there? Wow. Yeah, uh, a lot of our ships are repairing. So, against Oman, we're trying to go to war with Oman. Over here, as you can see, we have up to 35. The Fall of London, another conquest for Italy. Yay! Um, and also, France got a lot of its territory back. Actually, it's got all its territory back, except for all, say, Serene. And they even got Valonia. So, yeah, it's very weird. Also, I just made... I've been taking a lot of people off screen, because I was bored. I want to go to war with Oman. Actually, can we go to war with them right now? National Spain. I want to do that one earlier, but... I even took out Tibet, so... Yeah. Here's the uh, faction map. Japan is doing great. Really tremendous right now. Um, so, yeah. There's the Chinese in our front. They'll probably die. The Axe is looking pretty good. We want to go to war with Sweden as well. Go to war with Spain, because they won't join us. And I think I'll probably try to invade these guys up here. But Pearl Harbor's already fallen. Like, the Japanese are very strong right now. So, yeah, look at that fleet. That's a pretty impressive fleet, not gonna lie. It's probably filled with a lot of old dated ships, out old dated ships, but whatever. And they have up to 214, which isn't bad. They have a lot of carriers and battleships, which is not very good. And with the UK, we've cut off a massive amount of their fleet. No carriers left, so. But the show must go on, and hopefully we don't lose too many more ships. My goodness, I've, I've lost so many ships. It's so bad. Um, guys. Do you need... Are you out of manpower? You're not... A, wh why are you asking me for manpower? <laughs> you have 2.3 million available. <laughs> why? Guys. Guys. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we take that um, radar station. That would be actually really helpful. Alright. Three more destroyers sunk. Great, great, great. Another American convoy sunk. Great. I kind of wish there was an option to, like, peace out. If you take over, like, the UK and sea line them successfully... Kind of wish there was a way to... Okay, they're invading us. Well, that's kind of interesting to do. I, I can see why they're doing it, but still. Also, the Germans lost Ireland, so... Go figure. Yeah, kind of, I kind of expected that, to be honest with you. Kind of expected that, so... Nice. Very good. Um, Yeah, you might want to spread yourselves out a little bit better than that. Also, we're doing the second Italian Renaissance. Once the depression and its effects will disappear, the bonuses will start to up here. We could call this the new age for Italy, a new reborn, a new renaissance, and one not only based on a culture, but people and economy. One which will last and support Italy until its days come, or days will come. So we get better consumer goods factories, uh, stability, production efficiency cap, and get another research slot. So I should have done this one a little earlier, but oh well, it is what it is. Cool. You guys are great. Uh, we might as well try to, well, we'll try an invasion of, uh, Ireland. Why can I not think of the name or word Ireland? Are you guys ready to go? Um, for the most part, yes. It's not looking great over there. Uh, I guess they're up here. Yeah, we'll keep going up here. Why not? Balbo. As you can tell, he's he's seen a lot of action. He's seen a lot of action. I don't know too worried about these guys. At this point, convoy escorts. Uh, we have three carriers there. Do we have any carriers left in this? We do have five over here. He has five in total. So, yeah, I mean, just so many ships are repairing. One, two. Oh, oh, actually, we have some German ships repairing too. Nice. Hey, the can't get put late. Great. That's actually really good. Time to invade Ireland. Oh, okay then. I forgot about this stuff too. Whoops. My bad. But getting a fifth research slot is super, super helpful. All right. Probably don't need to see this one right now. And if we can, keep making more carriers because Americans have so many. And these are actually 1940s carriers, so it's not too bad. Not too shabby. Cool. And what are we going to do next? 
uh, expand the airfields. I think there is one. The need for airfields has increased with innovations in aircraft. We should not let this fall behind and construct new airfields. I'm going to do quite a few of these off screen and we'll probably take out America too. Increase fighter production. Fighter planes are of the base of a strong air force, but current production has been stalled by the Great Depression. Increased funding and working with private companies would increase production significantly would greatly benefit us. And then we'll do a naval air coordination support. Well, naval warfare lies with extreme importance. It would be foolish to assume that alone we can achieve naval supremacy with ships alone. It's necessary to take steps into giving proper aid to the Regia Marina via aerial support as the only we can achieve the total supremacy within the waters. Um, aircraft technology is expanded. Even though we have gained a sufficient lead in the air, we should still strive for more innovations in aircraft technologies and invest in heavy fighter research. Current fighters are limited by range, but recent innovations have given us the idea for a new type of fighter. A bulkier and slower fighter, but one with a much larger range increase. Invest in jet research. Jet technology, albeit quite recent, holds incredible promises to the future of aerial combat. A plane capable of reaching incredible speeds and climate and measurable altitudes is sure to be of great importance and might even lead to something greater. The Tying Guerrero Lampa. Coordination between the land and air will be a devastating combination. Our superior aircraft and superior ground forces coordinate. Coordination will make our military unstoppable. <clears throat> El Duce Project. Long have we envisioned a vehicle that could provide moral or morale for troops and bring utter annihilation and disparity to our enemies, allowing our troops to move forwards in combat and achieve victory in battle. In theory, this could work, but invest in such, investing in such a project will be costly, and the outcome might be even disastrous, but Mussolini's ambitions are, meet no bound. The path to supreme power. Our scientists are close to a breakthrough in a new type of weapon, but we've only gotten unclear descriptions of its power. But it seems to hold enough power to change the tide of war. Our scientists require more time and funding to achieve this weapon. But we now know we are on the path to supreme power and the weapon, the weapon to end worlds. Our scientists have found something interesting, or some interesting information, on a new weapon. It holds ridiculous power, so our scientists have told us. It has the power to destroy seeds with a single blow, causing devastating death and destruction. Should we fear it, or should we embrace it? Let's hope that God will never make us, or otherwise use it. Italian Tank Project. Reports from the Abyssinian campaign prove that the current state of our tanks is of poor quality, being bogged down in the steep mountains and hills, but even more so with the majority of our tanks lacking any heavy caliber guns. Despite the current state of our economy, we must consider at least reaching out to the fiat and other companies to formulate designs to further speed up with the rest of the world or suffer the consequences probably and which we will be lacking behind. Start uniting the people. The Austrians and Swiss may resent their new government, so we must integrate them with several new state projects. The happiness and safety of the people must always come first. Austrian or Swiss, Italian or foreign. Mm, this one's not too bad. We get more weekly stability. After our recent conquest, we shall solidify our control over Italy and the Italian population. Our great country shouldn't let its morale fall. I'll probably do first of the first, maybe. Nationalist Party. Um, I don't want to go to war with Germany, I'll be honest. I really don't want to. So, La Grande Italia. After the war, we realize that Italy needs greater industrial power. A collaboration between private and industrial companies and government has been made to deal with the industrial gap. Estruzonia Nazionalista Italiana. Our, science, our citizens should not fall prey to foreign propaganda. We should educate and indoctrinate our citizens so that Morocco can say hi. Museo Italiano della Glorificazione. The conquests are over. The restoration process complete. Great heroism and bravery have been displayed. Italy has been made great and shall continue to be great. We should not let the spirits of many Italian men have died and have fought to fade away. The airmen, soldiers, and sailors. They will be remembered for generations to come and develop Libya. The Libyan colony lies with little to no roads and poor infrastructure, not suitable for any future military engagements, or let alone any civilian travels. It's time we begin construction of proper infrastructure in Libya and help modernize Libya to an extent. Very good. All right, everyone. So here we're at. It's now 1947, almost 48, really. And as you can see, I've already invaded America. And here are the casualties real quick. We've taken quite a few casualties. We have less than 100 divisions, actually. We've killed off 3.5 million Americans so far. But overall, not too bad. Let's go and do the spirit of El Duce. El Duce has made Italia great again. He has conquered vast territories in the Mediterranean and beyond. Our great nation will never again become a laughingstock on the international stage. Benito Mussolini will be remembered as a legend, a hero, and the greatest leader Rome has ever known. Saluto El Duce. Cool. Also, um, I've been trying to set up collaboration governments and rescuing people here, so... It's been pretty busy, and as you can see, they're just attacking us like crazy. Like, that's how come they have so many casualties. I've invaded Virginia because, actually, we came up here first, and they're still attacking us, and we needed a distraction. So it came down to Boston. Well, the naval invasion for Boston failed, so I invaded Providence, which actually worked. And now I've literally just invaded Virginia. So, yeah. Um, having all three of these areas open, and of course, we still have Quebec and whatnot, too. Um, nope, you don't get freedom. Uh, should help us out. As you can see, they've got a lot of divisions. Um... It's kind of an issue for us just because that's, that's just so many. And Germany doesn't seem like it's really doing anything. Actually, that's not too bad. They've been losing a lot of manpower. Um, hopefully, they don't make any more. The 400 divisions in total stockpile. They've got a lot of tummy guns. Actually, that's a lot better than it was earlier. They actually had like 277,000 some guns. So, obviously, they have a lot of small stuff here. But still, and they've uh, they got quite a few ships still. 
We still naval invaded. We have 150,000 people in the plains, but they have no convoys as well. So the manpower is slowly, slowly, slowly going down. And at this point, they've been blowing up a lot of our ships. So it hasn't been great. It's been going okay. Uh, yeah, go right there. We lost a lot of convoys too. And this guy just refuses to become an iron side expert, which makes sense. We've actually lost some of our heavy cruisers, so yeah. But having another base here for these guys. Oh wow, you actually you lost six divisions. Oh, we invaded Baltimore. We must have. Oh crap, that's right. Oh well, the National Workers Union. The working class represents a large part of the Italian population. With communism becoming a rising threat, pleasing them should always come first. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, just because, well, we lost a couple more divisions. Yeah, this campaign, I've lost quite a few divisions, actually. It's kind of unfortunate. But, oh well, it is what it is. Also, I'm leaving these guys here just so we can keep sinking convoys and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much how Evading America goes. It's it's not great. It's okay. It's just horrendously, just so many attacks. Just so many attacks. Uh, rocket interceptors don't really care. Um... Really, there's not much we can do about this. It really kind of does suck. So this is what I've been doing for the, for quite a while, as you can see, by almost December. Try to get some nuclear stuff. Come over here, maybe grab some more division organization. That could be pretty helpful. Uh, yeah, and our guys aren't really in any posi position to attack either. So, and I've been hoping that maybe we'll get some sort of upgrades. But at this point, our armies are all pretty much stretched out, sort of to the max. Uh, if you can move, that'd be great. Um, and go right there too. So we have you guys up here. We have you guys in the north, which isn't very good actually for us at all, but you know, it is what it is. We're trying to get more supply through here. And then you guys are down here. The Germans are really sucking. I mean, they're really bad this campaign. I mean, yeah, they did really well on the continent, but we have German Poland now. We've got the Deutsch uh, Reichskommissar Niederlande. Oh, I guess they took back Belgium. We have the Reich up here with German Lithuania, German Finland, Alnok Reichskommissar Norwegen. Oh, sunk down, sunk down, sunk four more of them, which is great, great, great. As you can see, the Mountaineers aren't looking very good, but it is what it is. That's really looking bad, bad, bad. Holy crap. Wow, we must have gotten hit really hard. 55 out of 55. Go to 75. It doesn't matter. We need to get these ships out in, as fast as possible. Because they get hit so incredibly hard. Look at all the ships we have in repair. One day isn't too bad, but still. Sure, I guess we're out of Junkers. Which is fine, whatever. Keep making tons of ships. Tons and tons and tons and tons of ships. Some more here? Not bad. Goodbye. And we have a lot of people here. Oh, so we do have nuclear bombs we can do. And recon? Because we can't win out. Alright, so we have this stuff that came from a focus of the Ancona steel manufacturer. Why not? Same thing. Oh, well, we can't do them all at the same time. That kind of sucks. Whatever. War bonds. It doesn't really matter too much. We can probably close out this one too. As long as we don't lose too much. Oh, the Germans actually came down there. We lost a couple more destroyers. A couple more destroyers. Kind of sucks, you know. Um, oh, we lost five Alex. Also, Spain did join us. Portugal went to war with them, and then, so, Spain actually joined us, which is actually really nice. They don't attack yet, guys. They're not quite there to attack quite yet. They're getting close, as you can see from all the attrition they're taking. They're quite close, which is why I tapped over. Actually, how much man part did I have left? They lost half a million already. Look at all that. They're out. Oh, they might actually be out of guns. They actually might literally be out of guns. They've got a thousand trucks, but gun wise, they're out. This is the moment we've been waiting for, which we'll probably push out. Because even if they have manpower, if they have no guns, they can't really do anything. So, there we go. Do some of that too. And we have so many ships in construction. It's not even funny. Well, usually if you don't have to repair too much, but still. Yeah, I think they're exhausted. At this point, it's time to go. It's time to push out. Go push out, guys. Your turn too. Canada doesn't really have an army. Look at that. Not too bad. You guys push. Put as much pressure as you possibly can on them right now. Because over here should collapse. Over here, maybe not so much, because that's that's still 30 divisions, man. That's, that's still a lot. That's still a lot of dudes, not going to lie. You guys, kind of hold off for now. I mean, they're not really attacking. Oh, there's still so someone attacking. It's not too bad. And we're making some nukes, apparently, as well. Awesome. Wow, we just lost another carrier. That sucks. And I did make a lot of naval bases around. Ooh, we're expanding through New England, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We just overran quite a few divisions. They have up to 353. Nice. I'm very disappointed, though, that the Japanese didn't do anything in this campaign. It's not the dead's fault for that. It's just... Japan just took out China, as you can see, but... Not really much. I mean, they took out these guys. Siam so still exists. Three Frances in Madagascar, but... I like the, the look of the gray axis. The dark gray axis looks really nice, so... Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty nice. 
You don't need a big army win, just a great army. Cool. And hey, they're still attacking. Go and help them out now. Just go and force, force it. Screw it. Just go. We gotta link up to these guys up here and link up to. Oh, we already linked up to here. Awesome. Finally, finally, finally. Did, did we take Quebec? No, we have not. That kind of sucks. That's right. National Workers Union. Followed up the Italian industrial block. Despite Italy being a, 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 mostly an agriculturally dominated economy, many of our important cities pose an adequate industrial sector. However, that alone cannot bring Italy to catch up with the rest of the world, and therefore we have to launch massive industrial programs if we were to compete with the other great powers. We could use that before the war, but whatever. Look at that. That's not too bad. That's really not too bad. We're already all the way through New Jersey. We have all New Jersey owners. Nice. Cool. And because we have a collaboration government already in America, it shouldn't take us going to... Maybe LA? Maybe we still have to get to LA? It's 42% of the way there, so that's not too bad. Hey! Overran some more divisions. Nice. They have less than 300 now. That's actually pretty good. Nope. Cameroon. Nope. Also, I could have released the government of... Uh, the USSR, but I'm like, eh, probably not. Baltimore's ours, Washington is ours, this is looking pretty good. They're completely out of equipment, which is exactly what we want, despite them being, having a massive industrial base. Push out, guys, push out. Quebec sucks, I know fighting here sucks so much. The more factories they take, the less equipment they can make, so that'd be good. Switch you guys back around, come here. Convoy rating. Magnetic mines. At this point, I've kind of run out of things to do. So, there you go. As you can see, we've got so many ships in repair, though. It's so bad. Gabon? Nope. And extra divisions just in case. Not bad. Oh, some more divisions overran. Very, very good. 268. Not bad. Almost 9 million of them have died. Okay, now we're at over 9 million. 260 left. Nice. Virginia. Oh, they have no one down here in the south, huh? Alright, well. We can send you guys down here, too. You guys aren't very good. I haven't used you since, like, we invaded Gibraltar, but whatever. Hey, less than a million manpower. Great. Now get some more radios. Yes. Reconnaissance? Sure, why not? Yeah, Germany, they did well in the continent. They just didn't do well in invading America. Kind of dumb. Their navy isn't very good. That's why I prioritize the navy very much. So, so yeah, it is what it is. Hey, finally Quebec. Finally, we can make Quebec bigger and better. Make sure we got enough airplanes around here. We're definitely gonna need them. It's taking a lot of radar stations too, which will help out with the combat. All right, not bad. There you guys go. I'm not sure if you guys really need another one, but we'll take it anyways. So much invade there, so. Um, honestly, with all, everything that's going on, we definitely got to take a lot of territory away from Germans. I mean, we... I won't say it's all us, but... Our war score participation is 48%. And they're only 33%. Oh, crap. They they liberated Russia. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? German Russia. That is... 11 million manpower. Well, Jeffsky's here now. Alright, well... Um... I guess Germany took over part of Turkey, too? I don't remember that, but okay. German Poland, German Lithuania, German Reich, Russia, well, maybe I'll keep Italy, or, oh, I am Italy, we are Italy, maybe I'll keep, uh, the UK, we'll see, I'll make nice, pretty borders, hopefully, one solid front line, everyone, and let's grow, except for you, you go, you come to Miami, Miami's gotta be so hot, There you go. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, equipment-wise, I haven't really made that much equipment at all. We got 1.1 million, which is awesome, so. We're all done there. Oh, you guys can probably help out right here, too. How's Texas not a base here? Oh, we have to go all the way over there. Actually, how far are they? 60%? Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I spent like an hour and a half, like... Or maybe an hour, two, an hour and a half, off screen, just invading America and doing all this stuff. Went through Greenland, went through Iceland, you know, the normal stuff. Went through Labrador, so. How many divisions does Canada have? They have less than 200, which is awesome. Mexico is up to 52. Canada has three, which I don't know why they consider a major power, but other than that, 31 million have died. Four to one. One to four casualties. Jesus Christ, that's actually pretty good for us. They, they, yeah, they don't care about the South.
I haven't really done too much with our planes either, so maybe I should... Mm, planes, it'd probably be good to use. Yep, you totally didn't die there. Mmm, fake news. Yeah, the Americans have been shooting down a lot of our planes, so... There you go. I should help them out. Hey, we have a nuke too. Hey, maybe we'll nuke America. Let's see. Do we have any... We, uh, we've all captured quite a few strategic bombers. Um, they're still fighting. I mean, they're not done yet. 194 divisions. Almost 10 million losses. Not enough, of course. Uh, strategic bombers? We have a lot of fighters. Holy crap. There you go. Uh, I just put on 6,900. Well, there you go. There you go. It might be a bit extreme, but whatever. Do we have any... A lot of naval bombers. No strategic bombers, huh? Kind of sucks. Should have made some. Oh well. Develop the Ethiopian colonies. Much of Ethiopia remains a backwater and tribalistic society within an industrial sector that's near non-existent and poor infrastructure. If we are to maintain our presence in Africa, we must solve the apparent lack of proper infrastructure and begin making life much easier for a troop station there. Makes sense. I get a lot of PP2, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me too much, so. Now we should have really... Oh, yeah, we're overrunning them over there with that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Excuse me, can I close out of this? Thank you. Nope. And there you go. American operative captured. All right. Goodbye. Pretty good. Not too bad. I mean, it's just a lot of brutal fighting. That's just all. That's all it is. And we've approached Indiana. We're in Louisiana. Pretty good. And now they're 77, 78 percent of the way there. And we've done literally over half of everything. With Germans are taking more casualties, so it's kind of crazy. Ah, uh, Detroit will be ours too. Recon. Eh, we could probably use some recon too. Why not? Hey guys, you want some recon? Are you probably enough supplies. That's another thing um, about this mod. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Get some of these guys on there. Why not? There's our fuel, but whatever. Um, we have six, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six research, research, support company slots, which is kind of nice. Usually, you know, the standard is five, but six is not too bad. That's kind of interesting. Build the museum. The Museum of Italian Glory will bring our people closer to our recent history. People should know the bravery and courage of the Italian soldiers in the war. And soon, more and more will support our goals, listening to us, cheering us to the way up. A place that Italy deserved more than ever. Cool. We still have this agreement here, but... Medium transports? High transport? Sure, you can. we can do that. Why not? Hey, Chicago's ours! Which means one of you guys has to come over here too. Good. Pretty good. Oh, well, there goes America. They're done. Pretty much. Except for Canada. It's gonna kinda suck. I know Mexico, we need to take out them too, but still, whatever. Well, actually... Creating a collaboration government was actually really... There's so many Mexicans in Canada. Holy crap. That's something I thought I'd never say, but whatever. Uh, I love carriers, man. I have a big old carrier problem. Um, there you go. And there... Here you go. Just because I'd like to create a collaboration government here too, but we don't have enough stuff like that. Uh, oh, Germany's already down here. That's actually pretty, pretty good. Yeah, beat up the Mexicans if you can. That'd be nice. Beat up the Mexicans, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Canada. Oh, we take out Mexico too. They're considered a major, which is stupid. Oh, man, that sucks. Handheld short radio. Um, We're done here. Yeah, we're pretty much done with this campaign. So we just do stuff like that, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Uh, military factories, I don't really care about, so we're not going to even use them. So, there you go. Nice. Good luck. You might need it. The fifth carrier, that's going to hurt our efficiency to do that, but whatever, I don't really care. Did I give you orders? Going in, guys. Just going in. There's a lot of Mexicans that need to go bye bye. Cool. And actually, do we have anything down here yet? Strap bombers yet? We did capitulate America, so they should have some strap bombers, right? Um, acoustic mines. Technology doesn't really matter right now. 
Oh, no, they didn't have any strat bombers. That's very weird, right? That's weird. They almost make strat bombers. America almost always makes them. Really not on this campaign, though. Hmm. And Jeremy's doing a great job down here, which is awesome. Oh, we have our tanks down here, too. Nice. Very good job, guys. Very good job. Hey, there goes Canada now. Look at all the Mexicans up here. Wow. Oh, we can't even nuke now. Hurry up, guys. Take them out. Take them out. We've done 50% of everything without even 100 divisions, because I probably lost too many. We actually have a bigger industrial base in Germany. It's because they released Russia. Come on, make them lose Mexico City. That'd be great. Are you guys done yet up here? I know there's a lot of good guys up here, but let's go. Let's go. What's down here? Oh, Mexican stuff. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, you guys are moving in there too. That's good. That's good. That's good. Develop Ethiopian colonies and Libyan annexation. The Libyan colony proves to be of strategic importance for securing dominance in the Mediterranean and keep a foothold in North Africa. Not to mention the plentiful oil that's just spewing beneath the sands. It would be favorable for us if Libya would become officially one with the nation. Very good. Yes. Yes. I got still so 30 some Mexican divisions down there, which is not very good for us, but whatever. They all going to die. They all going to die. Oh, look at that. Yes. I'm not sure if this helps our allies out if we do this too, but we're gonna do it anyways. Learn a lot down here, guys. Learn a whole lot. Convoys? Nope. It's probably a really dumb idea to do this, but we need them divisions down there now. And actually, we own this, so let's go and build some infrastructure here too. Get some of that. Get some of this. Get some of that. Get a lot more naval bases just in case. American operative has been captured. That's good. Oh, look at this. Hey, finally. Not too bad. 13 more. Well, it looks like we lost a carrier there, so there you go. Go, Germany. Go, go, go. We own 50% and a bar They've up to 109 divisions. That's pretty good for them. Pretty nice. Ah, oh, crack my back. Oh, baby, crack my spine. Oh, yeah. Air traffic control practices ain't too shabby. I forgot to do a lot of this stuff, actually, so. Cryptology? Um, I don't even use any of this stuff. Oh, well. I usually don't even remember to use it, so. Go, go, go. There you go. Nice. Pretty good, I'd say. Not too bad of a campaign. Uh, it, this mod is interesting. There's a lot of potential for this mod. I want to continue exploring this mod in the future as well, but we'll see what happens. I mean, there's always never enough time, but still. You guys aren't winning there, which kind of sucks, but whatever. There you go. Come on. Mexico's got to capitulate soon. They have only 32,000 manpower left. Fewer divisions than what we all know. Good, good, good. Like, the constant attacks, I mean, they can't keep it up. Even I wouldn't be able to keep it up. Mexico City is a frontline city. We might not be able to take it just yet, but hopefully soon. <laughs> we'll just start demobilizing now, why not? Colombia. No. We're done here, Colombia. You're not a major power. You'll never be a major power. Alright, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Hey, we got them. We got them all. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, everyone? So, I would rather do the peace deal with you guys here, so. Um, Japan. I really want to split up India with the Japanese. Uh, they can have that, too, because that, that'll look a little better. Give them Burma as well. Doesn't look that great. I guess something like that, maybe? I think another tip. Yeah, I think another tip. That'll look a little better. Dutch East Indies, let's end that one. Japan, Dutch East Ender Indies. Cool. Germany, you had Romania, so you can have Romania. You can have uh, Sweden, Denmark. Mm, the Japanese can have the Philippines. 
I want Portuguese Angola. We'll talk about that stuff a little later. Thank you. Um, Germany, you can have Iceland, even though I literally took it out for us, but whatever. Alright, so we won't take Iran. Nepal. Um, Germany, you can have Hungary as well. Japan. Australia. New Zealand next. We'll take South Africa. We'll take Liberia. We'll take Iraq. Saudi Arabia. Yemen. Tibet. And we'll take Switzerland. The Germans, of course, will get all of free France. Uh, except for, you know, I want the colonies here in France. Give me the African states. What a lot of wasted potential down here. I could have done so much more. Alright, not bad, not bad. Thank you, thank you. I'll take all of Turkey as well. Free France, the rest of that. Oh, we need to take them too. Um, where's Spain? Spain didn't do a whole lot here, but, you know, they'll still get some stuff. We aren't that mean to not give them stuff, so there you go, there you go. Time to create the Triumvirate, obviously. And we'll take that too. Thank you. What else we got around here? A lot of little islands. Japanese. They could take all these Asian places. Uh, British Malaya. Yeah, it'd be smart for them to take. Alright, so we will take Afghanistan because I literally took them out. Uh, where's uh, you guys? Portugal, you can have all that too. Czechoslovakia, Germany. You can have them. Czechoslovakia. I think we divided up these guys, so we want that. Germany can have this, which makes it look kind of ugly, I'll be honest. It looks pretty ugly. Um, you guys can have the rest of Belgium. Free France. I don't understand where they're at. I mean, I, I mean I'll mean, i take this, but... I'll just give me whatever they got. I don't care. We'll take in the rest of India. Um, you know what? The Germans can have these guys, but I'll take America and Canada then. You know, I kind of deserve it more, way more than them, because we actually we were, we were the ones to invade, but that means I'm just going to take all this stuff then. Out an Empire, you guys, you guys, and you guys. Cool, and that's a peace deal. Oh, they got Labrador. Uh, that's not really smart. And I think that was pretty successful. Now we basically created TNO without the OFN. Oh, can we not get... There it goes. Cool. Even though the time go on, doesn't really matter. There we go. Now that's a nice Italy. Uh, United North America? Provisional government of the U.S. No, not quite yet. Oh, yeah, Bulgaria still exists here. Oh, did... How did they... Sorry, Bulgaria. Um, National Education? Who's... Uh-oh. German Russia's... Oh, you're not going to get the stuff we have here. Um, honestly, I don't want to give Bulgaria anything here. Here, I'll actually make this a little bit nicer. They can get this part. There you go, that's all you got out of the war. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Well, sorry, Bulgaria. Not really much here. I just wanted to finish this one up. It's only a week left. But overall, not too bad. This campaign was fun. It was a little difficult, a little interesting. And I definitely want to try this mod again sometime, but I'm not really sure when. Oh, wow, we divide these girls up pretty nicely, too. So, we should have cores on Libya very soon. Triple Atania. Not bad. And there we go. I think that's it for the entire focus tree, too. Actually, do we get this cord? Somewhat. Part of these areas have been cord, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.